Hey everybody, it's Frozen from the future. I just wanna let you know, I ended up using a brand new camera setup on this trip, and unfortunately, I ended up using a way lower shutter speed than what my stabilization software could support. Because of this, during low light scenes especially, you're going to notice a little bit of a blur or vibration effect being applied to the footage. Now this is not the norm and it should not happen in the future. After this trip, I ended up ordering a couple more accessories to help me out and I did smooth over my workflow. Now I tried to piece this trip together as best I could when I got home and it's a little weird because I had to take out a lot of footage that I normally would leave in and add a lot of footage back in that I normally would cut out. I do apologize for the issues that I had as far as my technical difficulties. Because of that, I would like to make it up to you all by removing all the ads moving forward. So please enjoy the video and I hope you have as great a time as I did. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Frozen and welcome to Outdoor Adventures. I have Marika with me. Good morning, Marika. What's up, y'all? And we got RD joining later. We are in the Great Smoky Mountains, North Carolina. We are gonna be doing a loop that I did my second year of backpacking. If you remember way back when, the first time I visited the Smokies, I did a, uh, like a three-day loop and I had to tap out earlier because one, I had Giardia. <laughs> Two, my shoes were way too small. But I think we got everything figured out. Marika's with me, so nothing can go wrong. We're expecting four days of rain, which is gonna be great. <laughs> Get to test out some of the new rain gear, which I'm absolutely excited about. On this trip, I'm gonna be testing quite a bit of gear. We'll talk about each item as, uh, as I use it. But mainly, this camera. Hopefully get some better footage for you guys. 4K, 30 frames per second. Marika looks quite nice on it, right Marika? I always look nice, Frozen. <laughs> Let's take a look at the map. We're parked way over here on the road to nowhere. If you guys remember that story? If you don't remember it, check it out. Great story. Government built a road, never finished it. Uh, we're gonna be following the Benton Mackay slash Lakeshore Trail all the way to Camp 81 tonight. We're gonna be waking up early going up Lakeshore to Hazel Creek, over to Cold Spring Gap, and then down Bear Creek, staying at 75. Following day, we're gonna go down Bear Creek, over to uh, Forney Creek, up Spring House Branch Trail, and down Nolan Creek. This is, right here, is where I had that uh, interesting encounter with the, uh, the, the two rattlesnakes. The one that snapped at me was way over here off the map, but by Klingman's Dome. Uh, we're gonna be staying at 65 campsite on night three, and then we'll have a quick and easy 1.5 miles back to the car on Saturday morning, allowing me to drive the 12 hours back home. Doctors make the worst patients, yeah. Yeah, I feel like the same sentiment is true for outdoor professionals <laughs> and uh, going on outings. Uh, we know all the right things to bring and do and all that, and our egos get the best of us. Yep, we get too familiar with going on trips and too relaxed, and then we end up doing stupid things or forgetting items that we shouldn't forget. We need to complete this 19 to 21 mile day. Can't keep taking side trails. Why? <laughs> 
So, Marika. Yes, sir. How's your Sawyer Micro doing? Uh, I've honestly had pretty good luck with it. Um, I've had this one only about two months so okay. far. Um, they had one on the AT that you know, I had a lot of luck with. The only thing that um, I had trouble with was this little O-ring. But I'm going to put that down to user error because I tended to over-tighten it on the okay, bottom. Okay, yeah. I had the same um, issue. But mine was slow, man. But hopefully you got better luck with yours. Yeah, I mean, I had, you know, I had to back flush mine like every now and then. But it wasn't like every other use or anything like that. Gotcha. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. It's a little lighter, a little cheaper. Yeah. We'll see how it does. All right, everybody, about 12.30. Just started raining. Here's the Enlightened Equipment Visp. First time it's seeing water. Now, Murica has just refreshed his Outdoor Research Helium 2 with DWR solution. So it's pretty, it should be a pretty good test. We're gonna be both hiking the same trail in the same conditions. We'll see how we are when we get to camp, see if we're all wet or who's drier. <laughs> See if I need to buy a new rain jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Still waiting on RD to catch up. I'm assuming we'll see him in the next hour or so, though. He's pretty fast. What's up, feller? What's up, Where's your rain stuff? What? what? Where's your rain stuff? Oh, he he didn't have time to stop. He was running the whole way to catch up. How you been, man? Good stuff. Come here. What's up, dog? All right, just had a little bit of a lunch break, just snacked. I had three Cajun filet biscuits from Bojangles this morning, so I wasn't too hungry. Uh, there was fish in that lake. Just watching them splash around a little bit. And then there's a campsite right next to that. I'm not sure if that's an official one. Uh, but we determined we're about 11 miles in. I think it's about 2.30. And we still got, you know, got about 10 miles to go. So <laughs> hopefully we get there before dark. I think the, uh, the next big storm is going to probably occur about 7 o'clock tonight. So hopefully we're there before that. About 5 o'clock. We're expecting a storm around 7 o'clock. That's when the rain, the real rain is starting to come in. Uh, just looking at this cascade, this beautiful cascade behind me. I apologize for the lack of footage. So today's been a little weird. It's been like insanely humid. I can't keep this uh, lens from fogging up. So let me know down in the comments on um, what to do there. Like it's bad. Um, and I can't just keep using my shirt or my buff because I'm getting like, you know, sweat on it and stuff. But uh, other than that, we're having some great conversation. It's been a lot of ridge walking, a lot of blowdowns. Um, this trail needs a lot of maintenance right now, but uh, we're gonna be at camp in like 3.3 miles, so hopefully we'll beat the rain. And uh, we're all getting kind of tired. It's actually a 22 mile day today. Um, RD actually has gut hooks app of the Benton Mackay Trail. So that's how we're figuring that out. Uh, but anyway, on the campsite 81, here we go. kind of been a brutal day to be honest just a lot of miles and a lot of uh, almost bushwhacking through the trail um, I'm assuming there's some uh, hate to say it I'm assuming there's some COVID slowdowns for maintenance in here because last time I was here it was beautiful nothing could have possibly been maintained any better um, and it's like you know it's like prime season right now for the Smokies for sure 
right, we're just going to fill the capacity, two liters, and we'll be on our way. Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh, Valley of Plenty, O oh, Valley of Plenty, whoa. Anyone else excited for Witcher Season 2? I'm a huge fan. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys are too. I feel like us being hikers, The Witcher is kind of like right up our alley. Um, from, from everything from the games to the books to the now Netflix series. Whew. Huge fan. Oh man. <laughs> anyway, almost to camp. I am getting happier and happier. My legs are getting angrier and angrier. And uh, um, wow, we actually have some blue skies. Maybe we'll miss out on the rain today. How cool would that be? We only had maybe, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half of walking in the rain today. It was supposed to be all day long, like four straight days of 65 to 80% um, rain expectancy in this area. I think a bear snorted at me, if that's a thing. Yeah, no, so about a half mile that way, like maybe yeah. three quarters of a mile. Yeah, coming up. Yeah, so it was coming like down off the hillside. Was it a really a bear? I'm pretty sure. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. So, because I was like sort of coming around that bend right there. Yeah. And you heard something like in the woods and knew it was not a branch because it was a continuous sound. I just shrugged it off as a deer. I was cool with that. I saw a dark figure. Oh. Like, like dark, dark. Okay. Like a dark black bear. Like, like a dark black bear. I go, hey there. Yeah, that's what I did too. And, and then it stopped. I go, Hey there! And it went. Hey there! <coughs> you stay there, there. <laughs> yeah. Time to set up the new hammock. This will be the fourth night in this guy. I love it so far. Did some testing out in the backyard a couple nights. Is that not a symmetrical hammock? It's ASIM. Okay. It's a little high. <laughs> <laughs> Jump! Only hang as, what does it say? Only hang as high as you're willing to fall? That's, that's accurate. Yeah. Like half dome or something like that. Yeah, mine. Trail weight was like. Five pounds, 14 ounces. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah. what I had. The half dome, yeah. Like, new backpacker, probably isn't going to go out on the other Right. Well, I mean, hey, even with all the experience I had, when I get my tiger wall, oh. I'm itching to get back out there. Yeah. I'm not kidding. It took me two hours right. to figure out how to stay up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll show you in a second. I'm going to make sure these drip lines for the hammock are situated at the top of the buckle because I am expecting rain tonight. There's nothing worse than waking up with your back soaked because you didn't do that. So what happens is water will come down the tree, run down your suspension, sometimes bypass your buckle, get this wet, and what these are designed, these are just like an overhand knot, right? You just put them on each side of your uh, continuous loop. And you just move them up right here. And what happens is, as the water comes down, it finds the lowest point and it just drips off, right? So you can just see that right there. And I got the same thing on the other side. Now that usually doesn't happen a lot unless you are uh, in a real bad storm. And I've been in a couple where it's just it just downpours, but that's how I stay dry. Um, and there's nothing worse, like I said, than having this wet in the middle of the night because there's nothing you can do about it after that. You adjust these and then you just sleep wet. Um, it is what it is. Look at all the leaves falling, guys. <laughs> cool. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of this set up, and then I'm gonna have a good night. Cold Spring Gap must be after after we swing off the BMT. It's right before High Rocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, so I was about to say, it goes we're, up we're, to High Rocks. We're, we're splitting off the Bent Mackay pretty early on into tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, 3.7 3. miles. That's why with a push to this yeah. campsite, because it makes tomorrow kind of But we do better. have to go up Welch Ridge, which is 700 foot climb. Welch Ridge, baby! <laughs> 
We're not gonna eat at High Rocks, are we? Or go oh. see High Rocks? Yeah, High Rocks is like the only view on this whole loop. Yeah, but it's three tenths of a mile off. The oh trail. my god, it's totally worth it. And it's flat. It's probably uphill. <laughs> it's uphill going down and then coming back to go uphill again. <sighs> All right, tonight on the menu is Alfredo. Fettuccine. This is one of those ones that you don't need milk for. <laughs> I'm hoping Altra fixes their temp problems with their oh my gosh, narrow, seriously. stupid feet. I want to try hit, the new ones. Because like otherwise I need, they're super comfortable. Yeah, they just like, need this. You know what they need to do? Go back two years ago, re-release all those shoes, and don't touch them. Yeah, no, because I've, they were all good. Except the Lone Peak, the Lone Peak Force. This sucked. I didn't like. Yeah, those are the ones I started the AT on. Yeah, the red ones. Uh, Blue man, terrible. Three fives were great. Yep, love them. Threes were okay. Yeah, I couldn't fit in them, but yeah. They were they narrow? No, they were huge because they didn't have a seven and a half, and then they started making them a little bit, just a little smaller, and I could fit in them. So you buy, you were buying like kids from the kids section? No, I just I didn't use them. Oh, I, I gotcha. used the the three point fives as my first set of ultras. Gotcha. But I might go to the temps next because I feel like my my feet just don't like the cushion in the Lone Peaks, yeah. and temps are the next one up. All right, before it gets too dark. You guys can see this storm coming in quick. Wow, are we gonna make it to camp? I wanted to get a real good picture of this real quick. But uh, <laughs> wow, there's some wind coming in now. Oh boy. Anyway, this is right down the road from the uh, campsite. Nice stream fed right here. It's running along, we got some waterfalls. Yeah, that sky looks ugly. All right, everybody, got all the chores done, had some dinner. I uh, ran back, but it never ended up raining, so, yeah, good for us, maybe it'll rain a little later, I wouldn't mind that rain on my tarp. Anyway, everybody, I'm tired, it's 8 o'clock, good night, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody, good morning, America. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Last night, we legit went to bed at like 8 o'clock, it's 7.30 now, slept the whole way through started raining a little bit, so I guess I woke up maybe once or twice, but it was a great night's sleep. So we got rain predicted until like 9 o'clock today, 9 a.m., so not too bad. Um, it's a real light rain too right now, so perfect. Hopefully today isn't as rushed. We can do a little bit of filming today. That'd be nice. Um, just yesterday getting in late, or starting the trail late, 20 two miles I think we said we did maybe 23 or something like that and then um, just the bush whacking that we had to do afternoon yeah, that was rough we're feeling it today for sure um, today's gonna be a great day we got high rocks view today looking forward to seeing that again it's gonna be awesome but anyway first coffee mm -hmm. hey how's your tent Me? yeah Good? Uh, yeah, I think there was a little bit of condensation, so when the rain was coming down really hard, I got a little bit misted. Uh, okay. Uh, but, I mean, it's a single wall tent, so. Yeah, that happens in every tent, I think. Cool, man. RD didn't float away with his tarp, <laughs> even though it was like, he, so we didn't see this until obviously we went to bed, but his tent is <laughs> set up like right where all the water would come down. <laughs> I think he handled it fine with the floor. We'll go over proper tent site selection this evening. <laughs> it's a small site tonight. Is it? Yeah. So do you guys have a target for getting to camp? Like, are you thinking, ah, six o'clock, five o'clock, uh, five, five? Alive. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to rush can. through today because I'm not feeling. <laughs> I'm not feeling rushed at all. Don't want to rush through today. Uh -uh. I understand that you got to get back to your car, though. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. you're good, you're good. Maybe, um, maybe come up with us to High Rocks, and then barrel to camp, get your food going. Yeah. And I'll see you there. <laughs> I don't know. It's all downhill after that, you know what I mean? It oh, straight yeah. Down. Say that like it's a good thing. Mm, yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's not like IT band syndrome downhill, though. It's like normal downhill.
try to fold it differently every time. But I'll take both lines. <laughs> that way they can't get tangled. I mean, sometimes they still do. <laughs> Good morning, Marka. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> People love that. <laughs> <laughs> they say it in the comments. Love it. All right, so it's like, what, about 9 o'clock, you said? Yeah, it's uh, 8.55. I have signal. Look at that. All the text messages are going to come right now as soon as I turn the camera on. Yes! <laughs> All right, so yesterday we started at 9.30. Made it to camp by 6, did 21, 22, 23, pick one. And then today we got, I think, a 17 or a 16. RD's got a big day. He's not staying with us tonight. He's actually going to go uh, to Bear Creek Shelter, which is where we're headed. But he's going to continue for a 22-mile day back to the car. So good for him. <laughs> That's rough. So things to see today. High rocks. And my favorite trail of the Smokies, Cold Spring Gap. <laughs> I remember cursing up a storm when I was hiking this last time, but uh, maybe it got a little easier. I don't know. Frozen is really good at instilling optimism in his hiking partners. Just in the morning. If you catch me in the afternoon, don't talk to me. Grab my pole and say my name. Thomas. Thomas. No, not that name. My trail name, you idiot. Marco. Yeah. Good boy. Since we're uh, since we're stopped and breakfast was all of like an hour ago. Right. I'm gonna get me a little snack. Yeah. Tonight. I'm gonna hit up the fanny pack. See what kind of goodies I got. Oh yeah, I got some string cheese. I love the string cheese. We should go down by that structure and chill. Okay. So we're checking out a house. Made in 1928 along the Benton Mackay Trail. Hello! Wow. This is uh, at the intersection of Hazel Creek Trail and the Lakeshore. Is that rumbling your floorboards? No, he was dead. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. wow. Well, there's a shoe. A new shoe or an old shoe? Nice. I'm watching the boards just in case. Yeah. This looks like it's semi maintained out here. There's like a tractor and stuff. Porch. Oh, this good. This keeps going. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you actually scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Proctor. Proctor. There used to be a whole, a whole there was town. There like a town here? Yeah. Interesting. Get out of here, B. Watch your socks. Just, now we've just got this damn park. Yeah. You know? Oh, there's a lot of... Where are these coming from? I uh, Ugh. I'm terrified of yellow jackets. I hate them. They always get me, too. We had to have one uh, interesting animal experience, right? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to finish up some coffee and then on to Hazel Creek Trail. And then Cold Spring Gap. All right, looking forward to that one again. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah. But we are. Not really. Sort of. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel Creek. Hazel Creek Trail, nice and easy. 
until we get to Cold Spring Gap. <laughs> then it's gonna get hard. Man. Because this used to be an old railroad track. Oh, okay. Does it feel solid? Yeah? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's like a little ladder in here that goes like... Oh, it goes down? down? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's another door over here. Here, I'll, I'll And for expecting four straight days of rain, it sure is turning out to be a pretty dry trip. We got partly cloudy skies, sun's peeking out. Wonderful. Oh man, having coffee on that porch a few hours ago, that was great. Uh, speaking of which, it's about 12 o'clock. We're kind of lollygagging today, since we <laughs> kind of beat up from yesterday. Taking it a bit easy, plus we knew we had Hazel Creek Trail, which is nice and flat. It's an old railroad or an old service road, one of the two. I think it was a railroad. And, uh, you know, just blasting the six miles here, you know, just relaxing. Then we're gonna go to Cold Spring. Things are gonna change quite drastically over those three miles. I keep saying it. I just, when I hiked this like four, maybe five years ago, I remember there being, I just remember it being rough. Hey, feller. Hey, feller. Wow. Cold Spring Gap Trail, and then Bear Creek Trail. That's where we're going, Bear Creek. Bear Creek campsite for the night. So before we start heading up Cold Spring Gap, we're gonna stop and have a little lunch, a down a ramen or something. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Gosh! There's some slippery rocks in here, man. You know what, I think I'm going to put you guys away. <laughs> I think that's a safe bet here. Hey! <laughs> nice, dude. Woo. Spring Gap. <sighs> Holy cow. This trail is no joke. 
it's like uh I've been running a little bit, but it's basically couch to cold spring gap at this point. <laughs> yep, they're all around. They're well, yeah, we went all the way up cold spring gap. We went, took the point four for that. <laughs> I think the boys are about ready to kill me. Let's go on this trip, he said. It'll be fun, he said. <laughs> Darn. Let's see high rocks, he said. I'm telling you, there. I said. swear, everybody, there. You know what? We'll use the footage from the other other video. Let's see if I can do it. There you go. There's beautiful footage of what it should look like. Isn't that nice? So nice. <laughs> Just use your imagination. Pretend like you're seeing the actual footage. All right. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Perfect. All right. <laughs> oh well, that's a that's a bit of a shame. I'm kind of disappointed. So if you look over there, that's Fontana Lake. <laughs> and over there off by the trees, like behind the trees, that is Fontana Dam. Pretty cool. Well, it's a big shame about high rocks, but you know, you win some and you lose some. No big deal. Just happy to be out here being able to do something like this, you know? So we got some serious fog coming in. I don't know if you can see it but like it might get socked in we're heading to lower elevations tonight to bear creek camp hopefully it doesn't make its way down there it stays up here because it'll get awfully wet tonight if that happens staying about halfway down bear creek trail and then we'll hit noland creek tomorrow uncharted territory there i've seen some of noland but not all of it That's some serious fog in the air, guys. Hey right, guys, we're just heading the uh, three or so miles downhill to Bear Creek. Just got off Cold Spring Trail, Cold Spring Gap. And um, it's looking like there's a storm coming in. We can feel it in the air, for sure. Um, so I'm gonna put you guys away and bring you over to the phone that's waterproof, because this one is definitely, definitely not waterproof. <laughs> All right, we made it to camp. Uh, I'm gonna set up the tarp first, obviously, so I don't get my hammock soaked. It is pouring out here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but wow, it's coming down. Cool. Murica's back over there. I am right behind the bear cables, unfortunately, and the pines over there. We got a nice water source, though. Check us out. So I think we're gonna settle down for the night. Probably be in bed by like eight o'clock, maybe. <laughs> and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night, Murica. Good night, Joe. Morning everybody. Woke up about seven o'clock. Had a great night's sleep listening to that pitter patter of the rain all night on the tarp. Slept really, really well. I was out by like nine o'clock. Uh, it stopped for a little bit and it is still raining from last night. It stopped just enough to get our bear bags down. Uh, America's up. He's packing up his tent way back there. And um, we got, let's see, we got Springhouse Branch Creek Trail and then Nolan Creek Trail. And then uh, we're gonna see what time it is. I think we might have a shorter day than I thought. I, I forget, I didn't write down the miles for each day. I don't know why. I usually write that on the back of the map. But it might be like 14, 15, 16 max maybe today. Um, and depending on what time we get into camp and depending on the rain situation, uh, we're gonna get the miles done for sure. Uh, but we just might not camp. We're starting to get a little wet. Uh, America has some bad chafing, <laughs> yeah, really, really bad chafing, to be honest. And um, you know, it'd be nice to hang out with him at his house. I don't ever get to see him very much, so um, being at a place that we can be within talking distance instead of kind of just huddled underneath my tarp, um, 
yeah, we'll see. We're, we're gonna kick it up in the air and see how we do today, but uh, just having some coffee and some oatmeal, and then we'll be on the trail. I'll wait till things lighten up a little bit out here. You can't see anything without the headlamp. So, anyway, I'll see you probably on the trail. We're heading down Bear Creek and uh, gonna connect with Springhouse Branch. That's what we're doing today. Heading over to Nolan. Are, are you sure we're not walking through the actual Bear Creek right now? It feels like Bear Creek that we're walking through, yeah. Now we got a overgrowth. Perfect. <laughs> so how'd you sleep, Marka? Uh, I slept like a rock. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I think I woke up briefly when um, all of the water from the sky decided to come down at once. Yeah, it was... It was quite heavy last night, <laughs> like torrential almost, almost at that point. Uh, Man, this... but yeah, no, I, I slept like an absolute rock. <laughs> also Dude. fixed the condensation issue on my tent, thankfully. Did you, uh, so you opened the other side too? Yeah, so I had the uh, sort of back storm flaps open, uh, and then had the front door open until it started raining. I uh, closed that enough to you know, obviously keep all the rain out. Uh, and then I didn't get missed in the face. And that's nice. good. Nice. I cannot do that with my Fleximid. Because I only have one door. That's one of the downsides about that tent. But I can't believe how overgrown the trail is, man. Yeah, this is put, nuts. Put the camera around today. Yeah, I will. The trail is quite soupy, and these little water crossings are really deep. Deeper than they should be, at least. We're still following Pony Creek. I think we're almost at Springhouse Branch. I'm about to switch cameras because it's like getting to be a beautiful day out. The sun's coming out, blue skies, just around the corner, coming this way. What do you think so far, Marika? I mean, so far, this is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Trail, even though it's been super wet and soggy, it's been pretty easy so far today, and now we've got something cool to look at. For sure. You ready to get going? Let's do it. All right. How neat is that? <laughs> hey, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Nature's so neat. Been going uphill pretty much all morning. <laughs> Springhouse branch. I think we're almost up at the top. I'm hoping at least. Yeah, ever uh, ever since I sent the bad juju out by yeah. saying the trail had been easy. It was Tom's fault, or it, it was Marcus' fault. It all of a sudden got really hard. <laughs> oh boy. So if we keep going up, and take that ridge trail, we'll actually be at Klingman's Dome, the highest point of the AT. But I'm definitely not going up there today. <laughs> For sure not. 
This is uh, very reminiscent to going up to the Nolan Divide Trail, for sure. We're going to be kind of close to that when we come back down uh, Nolan Creek, but yeah, that was the rattlesnake encounter. I'm sure, if you all that remember that before the ATA, a couple years before the through hike. Whoa! Hey, you got any inspirational quotes for today, Marika? Inspirational quotes. Wow, way to put me on the spot. I do it to shorts all the time. Let's. It's your turn now. <laughs> Uh, so there's a quote by a guy, I believe his name is Greg Evans, that says, somewhere between the bottom of the climb and the top is the answer to the question why we climb. See? See, Shorts, this is what you need to do. You need to take some tips from Marika. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I hiked 2,100 miles on the AT, and I didn't have one single blister. Wait, you didn't do the other 92? Well, I had blisters the first. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I, I was in a bad pair of shoes that weren't right for me. Ah. But uh, no blisters. I have, after three days of hiking in the Smokies, I got two blisters in between my big toe and my other toe. Not fun. I had to pop them. But uh, we are at, hopefully, the junction where we're going to go down to Nolan Creek, 2.8 miles to Nolan. And I uh, just did uh, some serious foot care. Marika, you had some pretty nasty feet going on, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so me, who definitely did not have a single foot problem on the AT. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. <laughs> His feet were terrible on the AT. He had trench foot for like four, what, four or five states? Uh, at least. Yeah. yeah it, was, it, it was bad. Anyway. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. Surprise, surprise. Those are back. Yeah. Uh, so don't have... As many blisters as fro, but uh, definitely got the cracked feet going on, the yep. soggy, soggy foot syndrome. Yeah, we've been we've been just walking, you know. Even though it hasn't rained much, it's rained enough, and there's been enough water crossings that you can't dry your feet out at night. It's it's they're cracked already, they're screwed. So even with the uh, the foot balm, it's barely keeping up. I should have, you know, shoes off lunch breaks would have been the smart thing to do, but. Big miles the first day, you know. <laughs> big, big miles and then just walking up a waterfall for four miles yesterday. <laughs> yeah, not helping, but no. we got about 6.9 back to the car. Uh, we're going to be, if we if we stay at camp today, we're going to be in early. It's like, what, 1.30, 1 o'clock, uh, somewhere yeah, around there? Yeah, 1.45. Okay. So, yeah, we'd be in pretty early. So, I think the plan is just wrap it up today. No big deal. Have some beers at Marika's house. As some of you may be able to tell, we are on the Nolan Creek Trail, which is <laughs> literally a, uh, I think an old logging road or maybe a, just a regular road back in the day. It's uh, quite a different change from all the other stuff we were doing, besides Hazel Creek, for sure. Hazel Creek's another one of them beautiful trails that go along the water. Nolan Creek's way down there. Got a, some nice photos of that I'll be posting on Instagram, so if you're not already following me, Frozen's Outdoor Adventures. Go ahead, be posting pictures over there. Alright everybody, just walking the road back to our car and I had a great time except for my feet being excruciatingly 
uh, hurt right now because of all the blisters. But what about you, Mark? Uh, how's your feet doing? Uh, my feet are also doing pretty poor, uh, but the rest of me, surprisingly, is doing great. Yeah, walking in the rain with uh, not even much rain. It was just wet socks and creek crossings for three straight days. Yeah. It really uh, makes your skin fall off your feet. But anyway, uh, man, lots of gear to cover on this one. We had some excellent gear this time. We had the new camera. I thought that was absolutely perfect. Um, did have to adjust my workflow a little bit, but I think I got it good. Have the new hammock. I think it was definitely more comfortable than my 1.2 Darien. <laughs> There's our hitch, dude. <laughs> I know. We were talking about getting our point, 0 0.6 mile hitch uh, back to the car, but yeah, anyway, Darien was awesome. Uh, a little more stretchy, which I do seem to like. What I do really like about it, though, is when you're laying in it, you can like see where your underquilt is. So you're not like, you're taking all the guesswork out of adjustments. It's really helpful. And then the rain jacket. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far in lane equipment this. We'll see what happens. I'm not ready to give my opinion on it. I want to wait till the DWR needs refreshed for sure. But looking at Mariko's experience, you want to talk about how fast yours wetted out? Uh, yeah, so I had the same helium I used on the AT. I reapplied DWR and it's still wet out within several minutes. Uh, so not super thrilled about that. Uh, but it was a good experience or a good experiment. It was worth the 20 bucks to try and revive a rain jacket. Yeah, there's something going on with the the renewal process on there. Maybe it just doesn't stick or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, great time hanging out with my good friends from the AT. Always good to see them. We're out. Find time and go on your own adventure. I'll see you on the trail.